Here's another, another passage here, James chapter 2, look at verse number 1. About some unto your assembly, a man with a gold ring in goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment. And ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves, and are become judges of evil thoughts? Watch out for, for giving the preferential treatment to people in this, in this instance that just like have money or just that look good or look nice. You know, that person wearing the gay clothing, it's not talking about queer clothing. Okay, it's, talking, it's, it's actually the real word gay there, or the happy. It's a good, cheerful clothing. It's, a, you know, um, it'd be something nice. Someone walks in and be like, oh, wow, they're, they're dressed real sharp. They're dressed really nice. They've got their suit and tie on. Oh, come on up right here. And you greet that guest and you give them, wow, look at you. You're so nice. Your family comes in. You're holding your Bible in your hand. And you know what? Praise God for the people that come in like that, right? I'm thankful when people come in like that. That's great. But you know what? When someone else comes in and they don't look the same way, you don't just right off the bat just go like, oh, well, I don't really want anyone to see this person, but you could sit over there. You know, well, you know what? How about you just stand over here? That's wicked. Okay, and, and then you're acting with a holier-than-thou attitude. You know, that person needs God just as much as the person that you greeted and brought in and put in the best seat in the house just because they're dressed nice. Now, if someone's actions speak different on how they ought to be treated, then that's different. But you don't just, just judge the person that comes in because they're not wearing nice clothing or whatever. I, th I heard somewhere, and I guess I don't know this to be 100% true for a fact, but it wouldn't shock me at all that well, I, know, I do know that they sell tickets for like the Joel Osteen show. You know, the, the, they call it church, but it's more of like a, a talk show or whatever, or kind of a self-help type of a, a motivational speech. But they, they, I've, 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 I've heard it somewhere. I don't know if it was some, like some expose thing or whatever where they kind of put good-looking people where the cameras are, like where they're broadcasting. And there's only certain people that get those seats and then like other people have to sit under the footstool, so to speak, and just kind of are off in the, the, the darker corners of the audience. They still want their money, so they're going to let them in, but you know, they've got to they, they've sit farther away. And especially if they don't have as much money, you know, it's, it might be harder to get the plate to the, they're still going to pass the plate probably like four times while they're sitting there, but just not in the, in the posh seat in the uppermost room at feasts. Yeah. And that's what the Pharisees were all about. And there's plenty of people out there that like that, that are into that. There's a lot of wicked people. Uh, the Pharisees were big on that. And Jesus rebuked them up and down uh, for that same attitude. We ought not to have that same type of an attitude. Love the law, yes. Walk in integrity of heart, yes. You know, try not to be a hypocrite, of course. But if, if you're sincere, then you should be, I mean, <laughs> you're, you're going to be doing as, as well as you can if you're sincere in, in that faith, if it's not just a front, if it's not just a show. And the Pharisees, it was just a show. It was just a religious thing, and they liked the, the praise of men more than the praise of God. But this is what drives people away is a holier-than-thou attitude. And I understand that because I don't want to be a bunch of people who are holier-than-thou and judging every little thing that you do if it's just the minutia. And, you know, with the Pharisees, they, were, they, were, they would love to boldly proclaim how much they tithe of their anus and cumin and, you know, and all the littlest things but they, they omit the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. 